my life among spirits um i think that we may be very uh wrong there may be many misconceptions about what uh, the spirit world is we are not educated about everything that is beyond what our eyes can see and what can you tell us about the invisible marilyn well first of all i want to say that it's an honor to have the opportunity to share some ideas with Mendalia, because I have known Mendalia for many, many years. And in fact, I've had the privilege of working with them in different conferences for the last 10, 15 years. Well, my life with spirits, let me tell you, I want to share a little bit what it's like to be a medium, to live with spirits, to know spirits. <clears throat> and before I do that, I must ask all your listeners, what do you know about life after death? And that is really what the question is. Because when we speak about spirits, we have to speak about life after death. And by understanding the spirit world, it helps us overcome the fear of death. Um, death has been the greatest mystery from the beginning of time. But the good news is, is that for the last many, many years, there are many scientists, psychiatrists, and people from different traditions who are trying to understand life after death. And that is why there is such an emphasis now on near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences. My husband, who was called back to heaven, he was an Anglican priest, um, an abbot, really, of a community as well. And... Um, we met, and I come from a very religious Jewish background, and I was brought up to know about life after death. Because from the age of six, I always saw into the spirit world. I used to describe the loved ones, and my family, they were very loving, innocent people, and they did what good Jewish people would do. They took me to a rabbi, and this rabbi said, she has a gift, listen to her. But let me tell all the listeners, it was very special to my family because you see, I come from a Holocaust family. And so when I described many of these spirits, it brought to them the realization that those people who were murdered in the Holocaust, that they were really alive. But really, since I'm six years old, I have always talked to spirits, and I don't know what it's like not to talk to spirits, but I became very interested in children, uh, children who are different, and so I studied and have worked in, in, as an educator in psychiatry for many, many years, and I found that everyone, children, adults, were all born with the basic gifts of clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience. And so when you say, what is it like to live with spirits? Well, you know, when I look at you, when I look at anybody, it's just having some other information. I'll just put it that way. But the important thing is to know that there is no death. And those spirits have a message. And their message is very clear. We are not dead. We want you to know that we are alive and that in our world, there are spirit schools, spirit laboratories, etc. And one thing I'm sure of is because we have moved into the fifth level of consciousness, that the veil between this world and the other world is becoming thinner and thinner and thinner. And pretty soon, almost everybody will be able to get messages from the other world because we're not separated by any big wall. The spirits are not up or down. As Saint Pope John Paul II said, and there was a, a paper from Vatican, heaven and hell are not places, they are just states of consciousness. And when we understand how the spirit world works, we know that we can communicate and that they want to help us, especially at this time, they want to help us. Now, everybody is, but first of all, I just want to tell you, I know Mikael for 17 years. My husband, Father John, and I, we have had thousands of students. From the moment I met Mikael, of course, he was very gifted. But Mikael 
became our nephew. For us, he's like part of our soul. For me, he's part of my soul. But beyond that, of all the thousands of people that I have trained, really the one that came, became what we call, Father John used to call him, our five-star medium. He was a super, superstar. And I don't know anybody, because he was very young when we met him, who de devoted so many years of his life. But I want to say that spirit brings us a message. And now we talk about COVID. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you have it there. Uh, here, we are in red alert. So we're locked in, locked out, locked down. So what is the message? The message is clear. Look, it says... Every, in French, because our first language is French, it says everything is going to be all right. But let's go beyond everything is going to be all right. What is this message? The message is close your mouth. Don't talk unnecessarily. Go within, meditate, pray, and learn the truth about life after death. So when we don't talk so much, complain so much, worry so much, and we go within, we can learn how to awaken these gifts. And by the way, I want to say, as Mikhail would tell you, as uh, the most outstanding medium uh, in, from my perspective in Spain, and, and really one of the only proof of survival mediums that I know in Spain. But more than that, he is able to do what the spirit world wants him to do, and he's given his life to that. And so people like myself, Mikhail, we're here to encourage people, get over the fear of death. One day you're going to die. I'm going to die. Mikhail's going to die. My husband went. But the truth is there is no death. And so living with spirit gives us the opportunity to feel that presence. You know, every morning when I wake up, I say to my husband, hi, dad, and please come with me. And sometimes... I feel Father John's presence so strongly that, believe it or not, I even go into the shops and I think I'm going to buy him something. And at the last minute, I hear him say, I don't need that. I have, my, I have a spirit coat. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that living with spirit gives us an opportunity to know there is no death gives us an opportunity to help people overcome the fear, gives us the opportunity to tell people do not commit suicide. Also, aborted children live in the other world. Suicide victims live in the other world. Murderers live in the other world. But in the other world, we have to learn how to go to the light. So spirit says, don't do assisted suicide to die. Wait until the time when it's your time to die. Because when we came to earth, we came with a contract. And when that contract is over, we will take our steps. You know, I'm a very devoted to, to Shivananda practicing yogi. And in yoga, we say, we come to earth with a certain number of steps. When those steps are over, we are going to go. And so people... Do not be afraid of COVID-19, 20, whatever it is. Follow your heart. Follow your soul. Go within and learn who you are. Who are you? We have come to earth to love. We have come to earth to know. There is only one race, the race of humankind. And spirit tells us the truth is one. The paths are many. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And so whatever the fear of, that people have, I am sure that there is a bright light at the end of the tunnel. And as we say in French, it's going to be all right. And we have to know it is going to be all right. So because I know spirit, I know it's going to be all right. So that's what it's like for me to live with spirit. Mm -hmm.